Connecting Arizona. This is 12 News at 10. And joining me is criminal and civil attorney Dwayne Cates. Now, what does the Ohio case tell us about the future of social media being used as evidence in a case? Well, the future is here. Uh, social media and computer forensics is in al almost every case, both civil and criminal now. I mean, in, in almost every case, like the, the, the Casey Anthony case, they had what the Google searches were, what she was looking for. In almost every case, something that has to do with the computer, with instant messaging, with Facebook, comes into play. It is there. A quote from Time Magazine article reads this, I want to tell you, that it is a whole new crime, kind of crime, when teen sexual assault meets social media and goes blaringly, glaringly public. A grand jury is expected to be convened to determine if other teenagers should be cr prosecuted. Uh, prosecutor for this, can students who shared or posted pictures or video of the rape be charged? And if so, what kind of crime is that? Well, the ones that were there and witnessed it might be charged with failing to report a felony or failing to report child abuse. But the people that post things on the internet could be charged with child pornography because if you're showing an underage person in a, engaged in a sex act and you put that on the video and you out on the internet and you know that the person in the video is underage, that's child pornography and they could be arrested on a very serious charge. And they're madly trying to delete all of that, but once you've posted, it's there forever. Once it's on the internet, you can't take it back. Dwayne Cates, thank you so much. Thank you.